Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. My name is Rongfei and today I will be talking a bit about prayer. You see, growing up as Christians, we were taught to pray and talk to God as much as we can, giving Him praise for all that He has done for us and upholding all our problems to Him. Does it feel like sometimes God is just not there? Does it feel like sometimes the connection seems to be just one way? I'm not sure about you guys, but for me, I do feel that I'm speaking to a blank wall when I pray and talk to God about my problem sometimes. So for today, we'll be looking into Kings chapter 19, verse 11 to 13. It says, Go out and stand before me on the mountain, the Lord told him. And as Elijah stood there, the Lord passed by, and a mighty windstorm hit the mountain. It was such a terrible blast that the rocks were torn loose, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there was the sound of a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And a voice said, What are you doing here, Elijah? In this story, Elijah was searching for God. Throughout the many generations, God has actually established a pattern of how He would appear before His people. Like how God appeared to Moses through a burning bush or in billows of smoke at Mount Sinai where the wind shook the ground. So Elijah was also expecting something similar when he was trying to search for God. He was searching for God in the windstorm, the powerful earthquake, and also within the fire. But God was just not there. Despite all the big and loud appearances, God appeared to Elijah through a gentle whisper. Most of the time when we pray to God, we always expect that God would answer us in a very obvious and visible way. Like when we pray about our sickness, we expect God to heal us right away. Or when we pray to God about our problems, we expect that God will give us a very clear solution to our problems. But through the passage that we have just read just now, God reminded us that He may not always answer us through dramatic ways. And maybe sometime He is answering to us through a still small voice. So maybe when we are praying about our illness, God may not heal us right away, but He may be sending the people that can help us to us. Or maybe when we are praying about our problems, God may not give us a very clear solution, but He may be making us stronger through all the problems. So maybe sometimes, it's not God that is not answering us. Maybe it's just us that we are just not listening carefully enough to God's answer to us. So right now, I encourage all of you guys to not lose faith in God when it seems like God is just not answering our prayers and, as, and especially throughout this difficult and challenging year. Don't stop praying to God and upholding your problems to Him just because that God is not answering to us. Re-establishing our connection with God through our prayers and devotion and try to listen to God more carefully for He may be answering us through a gentle whisper. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just like to give you thanks for the message that you have for us today. 
we just like to give you thanks for reminding us that you do not always work through dramatic ways and sometimes you answer us through the small little things that is happening in our lives. Help us to be more sensitive and to listen more carefully to you so that we can hear your voice and hear your answer to our prayers. Help us re-establish our connection with you if we have lost it and help us grow in our faith in you as we pray and talk to you more every day. So we uphold all this into your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So guys, that is all for today. Thank you all for listening. God bless, take care and see you soon.